You know how in video games, scientists are always those useless NPCs that get in the way? Especially in shooter games? You know, like these guys in- Oh, hello! <laughs> oh man, I didn't know they had guns. You know, for being literally rocket scientists, these guys sure don't know the laws of physics behind a grenade toss. Okay, don't harass the scientists in Goldeneye. But even in games where they are important, usually the scientists are scared little wimps. Oh, what next? <laughs> What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. Except for Morden, he's he's a badass, but everybody knows that. Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans, made threats, killed them before things escalated. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Solarian Special Tasks Group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Solarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. Well, all that aside, here in this game, you are a scientist, and you're the main star of the game, no less. Zactronics Industries prides itself on making games for engineers, so if you're a nerd, stand proud this day. You may have heard of these guys because of their most recent game, Space Chem, or the upcoming Ironclad Tactics. However, I'm covering a completely different game today, Rukinjanur 2. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. I get all these foreign names, I don't know why. Sorry to all the people who have been watching me for Macintosh game reviews, but this particular one is a Windows game. Oh, come on. Yes, I'll still do Macintosh stuff, but I'm the gamer mouse. I go anywhere where there are games. So anyways, this is a game about reverse engineering electrical components. Hey, where are you going? We haven't even started the game yet, this is a cutscene! I do kind of wish you could play around with the circuitry on this radio tuner, though. That'd be kind of cool. This game features low-budget, live-action cutscenes and pixelated text bubbles. Hey, I don't feel quite so bad about using my webcam in my reviews once in a while now. Now I'll try not to spoil anything, at least about the solutions, while still showing you what you might be in store for. If at any point you decide that this looks fun, I'll have a link to the game page in the description. If you're using anything past Windows XP though, just remember to run it as administrator. Otherwise... Yeah. Whoops. So in this game, your job is to reverse engineer different electric devices. To help you, you have your trusty hypermeter. It's basically several electrical engineering tools at once. You have a 3 input volt meter, you have a pulse tool that can change the voltage, and you can read info from chips with the debug tool, and you have a serial interface that can read or send data between chips. And you also have a data sheet which can see the layout of some chips when you click on them, although some of them are completely unknown. Hence why you're reverse engineering them in the first place. So basically, this tool is like every engineer's wet dream, it's all the tools you need, right in one little handy device. So unlike a lot of games I've been reviewing lately, this one has some semblance of a plot. You're a private and engineer in some military working against what your superior, Lieutenant Cornelius Ackers, calls the Tangential Force. Which is... What, a rogue trigonometry group? Algebra, maybe? Sounds pretty obtuse to me. Though I'm not sure we should make too many jokes about them. We might protract the threat. Why are we after them anyways? Do we find proof of weapons of math instruction? Okay, okay, I'll quit now. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. They're trying to be the new rulers of society. Okay, I think that's enough. Now, like I said, I won't spoil the solutions, or at least I'll try not to. Don't blame me if I do, whatever. But if you want what you end up doing in the game to be a surprise, just stop right here and download this thing, because all the missions do kind of tie together. If you don't mind, keep watching. Okay, so using your hypermeter, you have four different missions in this game. In your first assignment, you have to figure out the combination for a lock. Which isn't too difficult, but, you know. In the second mission, you hack a Gauss rifle with a fingerprint scanner stolen from this tangential force. Yeah, it's like Metal Gear Solid, only with fingerprints instead of nanomachines, which means I get to reference Metal Gear Solid twice in this short little review. You know, this kind of makes me question who the good guys and bad guys are here. I mean, this military you're a part of is stealing rifles from this other group. I guess stealing and reverse engineering is just par for the course for military, maybe, but I don't really know what's going on and, uh, whatever, I'm hacking things. In your third mission, you use a decoder radio to read an encoded message. 
Once you decode it, you figure out that there's a bomb near your base, so in the fourth mission, you actually have to disarm a bomb. Yeah. See? You're a badass. You're an engineer saving all these people by going right out there and disarming a friggin' neutron bomb. Wait, the bomb is in tall grass. Ah! Remember, no matter how tempting that open field is, always take a Pokemon with you into the tall grass. Don't become another casualty. Alright, that's about it for this. If you don't mind spoiled solutions and you wanted to watch a frustrated engineer mouse go through this game, well, there'll be a Let's Play. I think my live voice is a little awkward, but hopefully I'll get over that sometime soon. So if you want to watch that, you can do that and get solutions and stuff. So yeah, it's kind of a walkthrough, one of the missions takes a while, but oh well. Also, the game kind of has some nice music. It doesn't loop, so if you take too long, there's silence, or maybe an explosion. You know, whichever. Basically, this is a very short game, but if you're one of the right nerdy inclination, it's fun while it lasts. Sure, it's probably a bit simpler than the real thing, but hey, it's a game. Besides, there's no harm in trying it out, it's free. There's also a user-created level pack that I may or may not do a Let's Play of in the future, and if you really want to go for nerdiness, you could make your own levels for this too. This is Tanara Kuranov signing off, and remember, in real life, you only get one shot to disarm a bomb, so leave it to the experts. Do not try this at home. EVER! Yeah, you